Hi everyone, welcome back to IoT Projects Ideas. Every electronics enthusiast and hobbyist loves Arduinos, right? We all use board like Arduino Uno, Nano, Pro Mini or any other similar Arduino even for some basic projects. For tiny projects like displaying a straightforward message on LCD or simply fading LED would be a waste of resources and money. In this tutorial, I discovered an inexpensive and compact alternative to Arduino called ATtiny85. ATtiny85 is like Arduino, but it is not Arduino. ATtiny85 is a microcontroller chip, which has 6 standard purpose input-output pins. Out of which, 5 are PWM enabled and ATtiny85 also supports the SPI and I2C communication protocols. But it's only 8 KB of programming memory, so yes, it is not as capable as Arduino board. But it will work just fine for tiny projects. This ATtiny85 comes in a module and standalone chip. I would never recommend you guys to use this chip and rather go for a module that comprises a voltage regulator and can be directly plugged into your computer. But before you plug it into the computer, some things needed to be set up. So let's set up the Arduino ID for DigiSpark ATtiny85. For this, open your Arduino ID. Go to Preference and simply paste the link provided in description. Then simply press OK and close Preferences. Now let's install DigiStomp AVR Board Manager. To install ATtiny board settings on Arduino ID, go to the Board Manager. Under the Tools menu, select the Contributed Type of Boards option. Scroll down and select DigiStorm AVR Boards. Click on Install to install it. Now it's time to install ATtiny85 device driver on PC. Now download the driver file and unzip the attached file. Click on dpin64.exe to install the drivers on your computer. Now install the ATtiny board into your computer. Sometimes your drivers are not installed correctly. In such an unusual case, we are going to follow these steps. Open Device Manager. Click on the View menu and select Show Hidden option. Click on device called Leave USB Win. Right click on the DG Spark USB device and click on Update Device. Browse the drivers from our computer. Finally, select the location of drivers stored on our computer. Now, let's run our test code to examine our ATtiny85 board. We will simply try Blink code which you can copy from our website link in description. Here, selecting the correct code is the deal breaker of this complete setup. To do so, we will select DG Spark default 16.5 MHz from the board menu in Tools. Then finally select the programmer as Micronuclears from the board menu in Tools. Usually we would compile and upload the code with our Arduino connected. But here in ATtiny85, we will compile the code and press the upload button. Where's for the plugin device now? We will time out in 60 seconds meshes. Connect the board within 60 seconds. Wait for micronuclears done. Thank you message from compiler. Enjoy the output of this code. It will show blinking LED on pin 1 that is built in LED on the board. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you have learned to program Disease Spark 8985 with Arduino ID. We will do many more projects and experiments with this board in the future, like displaying text on LCD, making stand alone, ATtiny85 projects, security alert system, etc. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for such outstanding tutorials and projects. It's me Ashika signing off for today. Catch you soon.